So the time has come and we are here in the Spyro 2. Crypto's Rage is going to be a fun ride and even more fun than the first one. So let's head in, shall we? In the world of dragons. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores! Yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! That's a great reference to first Spyro game. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa! Rough landing. Hi! Which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Dang. Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? No. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yes. Jerk. That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalon. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? It's going to be a long journey. And the adventure begins. And here we are in the Spyro 2. The controls are much smoother and the graphics are much much more. And we can actually talk to NPCs. Hi Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can Dang it! Yeah, I can. Let us grab our gems first, as we do in the first Spyro game. Right. Hello. Oh, by the way, these monsters are not dropping gems anymore. And let's check how many gems we need. We need a 400 gems. And that shiny thing on the bottom of gems, they are the monsters. So there are 14 monsters in this area, and we got two of them. 
And on the bottom, there are orbs. We can collect three orbs by doing quests. When you complete a test, your reward will be an orb. These orbs can be used as an getting to a new area. Let's collect gems. And the controls are very really same in the first Spire game. Hello, sir. May I have your autograph? Yep. Thanks for the autograph. And I gotta say, this game is extremely fun and lots of mini games quests that keep you busy a long time hi spyro i'm a friend of alora's and she's asked me to help you out whenever you find me i'll remember your progress like this zap that zap means that if you get into trouble i'll return you to this place see you around Thank you. And this is our checkpoint. No more shiny platforms for the checkpoints. But the fairies are the checkpoints right now. So it's okay. Hello, sir. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Thank you. Looks like you are too. After no. You learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Alright. This game has some Metroidvania aspects. We can't climb there until we learn the climbing skill. So we will get there later on. Hello, sir. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Well, I feel generous. I will pay that. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Um, I hope not, because you are going to milk us even more. Hello. Around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Yep. Alright. There are some gems on the top, but we can't reach them yet. You still need a climbing skill for it. Lizards, please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Thank you. That's a one cool talisman. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. It's perfect. So this will lead us to the home portal, like the first Spyro game. Which we use return home portals. Don't run. Man, this game is so smooth after the first game. Even the frame rate is much better. And the sparks can reach even more further and grab us gems. Isn't that great? Hello, sir. What are you doing? These little 
lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Alright. Hit the lizards with rocks. Bonsa will give you hints. Difficult to answer. Okay. And he gave us a rock. If you press triangle, you will aim. And... Whoop. I need to aim a little lower. And pressing circle. Shoot. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Right. Can I reach there? Oh, I can't. We will get there later on. Wee. Right. Let me take that. Oh, the voice acting is actually pretty great after the first one. Ha, how you like that? To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button to aim, then press circle to spit. Yep. But first, let me get them. Dang it. I should have aimed a little bit higher. And three more. Right. I love that jumping. He's like, no more talking. Just shoot and do your job. Fine. Thanks for clapping. It honors me. I'm doing my best. And another lizard. Right? Shoot. Ha ah, ah. ha. And one more. It must be here. On the top. Yeah. Yay! You saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. So you actually stole from her. I guess it's okay. We got one orb. Whoop. I just got rack. Oh my, I just gained a weight. Isn't that perfect? Whatever, I will carry it for you. So let's do the flying part. Great! The superfly power up is active and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame Yeah. And the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Walk through pyramids for spare fly power up. Light gem lamps with flame. Light all lamps quickly. And this one also a difficulty of one star. Right. Let me turn the camera. Right, let's fly. Let me light all the lights first.
It's disco time. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. But I also collect gems. But if you say so, I can take your orb. Because why not? Let's fly again. Let's backtrack to the cave where we first hit a lizard. Whoop. Spyro, play here. Right. It's a five gem. Let's head back. This will refresh our super fly. No wonder this fire game is much more fun than the first one. Because you are always doing something new. Not only collecting gems, saving dragons, or only gliding. Alright, we can still go one more place with this fly. It's on the previous area. But we still can't light all the lamps. Let's take those gems. Anything more? No. Whoop. Calm down, Spyro. Right. Let's head back to our new homeworld. In summer forest. Oh no. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter... You can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? Dang, sick burn. If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Yeah, just like that. It sounds easy enough. And it's auto saving now. It's a great feature. And this will be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.